Hi and welcome to Getting Into Raw Cooking with Zane. Today we are going to make a delicious, interesting recipe in the Optimum 400 juicer. We're going to make hummus. I've got here a tin of organic chickpeas that have been rinsed and drained. I've got a couple of tablespoons of almond oil in there. I've got juice, a nice big, and we're just going to pop all that in. We'll be careful with the juice of the lemons because we don't want it too lemony and you can add more to taste at the end. We've got the tahini right here, a couple of tablespoons of hulled tahini. Up to you whether you want to use hulled or unhulled, but I like the hulled tahini because it has a nice mellow kind of flavour. So I'm going to pop that in the bowl as well. This one's there for us to put things in. Then the garlic, chopping the end off the garlic and you will need to crush the garlic quite well and stir everything through. Now the trick with making a recipe like this is the juicer doesn't mix, okay? It's only going to squeeze, that's what its function is. But if you mix first, it'll squeeze everything flat and you'll get the result that you want. So we've popped everything into a bowl before we begin and we're going to squeeze that Oh, right through, you can see that nice juicy bit of garlic right there. We'll chop that off and throw it in. Now stir everything really, really well. Stirring well and using the homogenizing, the blank plate in your Optimum 400 juicer. These are great juices. Not only can you juice greens, you can juice your fruits and your hard veggies. You can make ice cream, you can make sorbet, you can make baby food, you can make all sorts of nut butters and nut milks. It really is a cool tool. So I've got everything really well combined in here at the bottom. And up to you whether you'd like a pinch of salt and a little bit of cracked pepper. I certainly like some cracked pepper in there. And let's grab a pinch of salt. That's really a great flavour to have. Now this is Celtic sea salt. Um, beautiful, nice salt. Actually it's slightly pink. I would say that it's Murray River pink salt here from here in Australia. Delicious. Salt's great for you as long as you're using the right stuff. What you buy in the supermarkets usually got anti-caking agents, most of which are carcinogens. But if you get fresh, real salt, then you're actually going to get minerals that your body requires every single day. Now we're going to turn the juicer on, scoop the hummus straight in the top. It's going to pop out the waste chute into the bowl and we're ready to rock and roll. Yum yum. You might also notice that I've left one of the parts out of the juicer. So when I'm making these thick kinds of mixtures, you don't need to put the spinning basket in and you also don't need to push, push the little red stopper underneath all the way in. The stopper can just sit loosely in the slot. It's such a simple recipe. We don't even need to use the tamper with it. And look at that. Got all that beautiful hummus coming out. I think I'm going to taste it while it finishes off. Mm, absolutely delicious. And you use the spoon to pop it straight into the bowl. Delicious homemade hummus. Sprinkle some black sesame seeds. Sprinkle a little bit of paprika on top. How can you go wrong? If you don't have your own Optimum 400 juicer yet, remember to scroll down to the description below, click on the Fruity website closest to you and order one today because they are absolutely fantastic. Ciao for now.